there are three steps I think that we can take right now that would really accelerate the global energy transition. The first is to finish the negotiations on chapter six of the Paris Agreement. This would create a transparent and verifiable international carbon trading system. And the reason this is so important is that once we have these credible rules, you can have agreements between companies and countries, between countries that will really accelerate the emissions trading system. The second thing that we can do is for countries to fulfill their climate financing commitments. This is $100 billion a year. And if countries step up and deliver this, including the United States, which for, uh, for political reasons has been, uh, has been slow to fulfill its commitment, then I think we can really start on the business of accelerating the transition. And that's because while this amount of capital is small compared to the amount of private capital that will be leveraged, it will be an accelerator. It will be a way to leverage that and start helping um, the lesser developed countries meet their climate commitments. Without that money, it's not gonna be possible for them to raise their ambition. And the third thing that needs to happen is to make progress on how we measure the carbon footprint of traded goods and commodities. Because as companies try and decarbonize their value chains and countries decide they want low carbon LNG or other goods, we have to have a way that everybody, countries and companies agree on to measure the carbon footprint of a good uh, or a commodity. And once we have that, then we can talk about carbon border adjustments and other policies once we know how to, to measure it but you can't manage what you don't measure, and we have to agree on what those rules are. Those are three steps we can take right now. They make a huge difference in accelerating energy transition.